Today I'm going to show you how to work in the empty front loops. So if you look here on the side of my project, you'll see a row of horizontal bars and these are the empty front loops of single crochet stitches. So when I made this round, I only worked into the back loops. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join my yarn and I'm going to work into the front loops to continue my piece. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're going the right way. So here's my magic loop where I started. So I'm going to want to hold my piece with the magic loop or the beginning of my piece, however it started, facing me. This way when I'm working around, it's going to look like a continuation of these previous stitches. If you do it the other way, you're going to have the wrong side showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join my new yarn and I've left the tail from when I finished off hanging out over here and that's going to help me to secure the piece. So I'm going to take my yarn and thread it onto a yarn needle and I'm going to find, make sure that magic loop is pointing me, and I'm going to find where it jogs. So right here you can see the first stitch of the round right here and the last stitch of the round up here. And because I made this in continuous rounds there's this little jog. So I'm going to count back a couple of stitches and join my yarn over here and that will kind of blend that jog. So I'm going to take my yarn and go through the stitch where I want it to start and I'm going to come out over here on this side in the same stitch as the tail from before. And that way when I'm all done I can tie those together and it'll be very secure. So now that I have my yarn in place I'm going to switch to my hook and I'm going to insert under that first loop there, pull up a loop and chain one. Actually I'm going to go ahead and chain two because I'm going to be doing double crochet. This is when you want to refer to your pattern and make sure you're doing the right number of stitches per stitch. I'm going to be working two double crochet two double crochet in each empty front loop all the way around. So I have a total of 24 so I'm going to end up with 48 stitches when I'm done. So I'm not going to count the chain. I'm going to go ahead and do two in this first loop. And then find that next loop Go under it and work your stitches just at like a regular stitch. This can feel a little bit awkward at first getting used to it. Once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy. And this is where the jog is, so I'm going to go down from where I am. That was the last stitch of that round, and this is the first stitch. And so by working over that seam, we just kind of blend it a little bit and make it harder to spot. Now you can only do that if it doesn't matter if it's a little bit crooked. So use your own discretion whether or not you want to do it that way or if you need to stick with the seam. And I'm going to keep on going all the way around, doing two double crochet in each. 
those stitches. Okay, so now I have my last front loop left to work. And sometimes it can be easy to miss, so make sure you're counting so you don't leave that one out. And then just join to the top, unless your pattern calls for continuous rounds at this point. I'm just going to join to that first double crochet and then cut my yarn and pull it through and I will secure that by weaving it in. But what I'd like to show you is down here where we have our two tails sticking out and all I do with them is tie them together. You don't want to pull too tight, but just enough that it disappears under the surface. And then I like to thread them individually onto a yarn needle and go in opposite directions. One that way. And one the other way. And I might even go back and forth a couple more times. Whatever you feel will make it most secure. And then you'll just trim those ends and you're all done. So you can see that on the underside, this is the wrong side and these are the decreases. And this is the beginning of the piece, and that's the right side of that extra part that we just added. So it all looks nice and continuous from the top. And that's all there is to it.